have a 2014 Isuzu is on the way mode. I'm gonna show you how you can diagnostic this truck of course. You gotta go to the computer, the program, have the program right there. Okay, wait for 2014. Scan. DPC. Wait a minute, wait a minute, there's no code right here. You see? And the truck gets exhaust system. Isuzu, okay. That happened with someone came and he reset the codes. That happened, so the codes is gone right here. There's no codes. There is only one way to get this D-ray mode away from this truck. I had to reflash the CM, okay. Okay, so let's reflash the CM. Isuzu. 2014, okay. So, of course, it's only in the truck. Key on. Okay, we're gonna go. Let's see. Right there. We're gonna go control reprogram. I already had the file inside. We're gonna go engine. I'm gonna see if it has a calibration. Update. Let me see. Update. Let's see. Next. Next. Big number. Check with the door. Let's see the door. Let me see. Match now. You can be able to change the the big number to there if you want to. Then you go next. And the control has calibration. There is no update requirement. Okay. So here's the problem right here. Let's say replace, reprogram control. Next, let's say version now is installing the vehicle. Yes. Turn the initial on with engine off. And next, big number. Next. Uh, now turn on the initial with engine off. Do not close it. Do not leave the screen. Say we say we place a new module. Okay, we replace it next, and we program control. Okay. So now we reprogram. We flashing. We crashing, or we gonna reprogram? We I mean we. First of all, what we did is we struck the file. Then we're going to put it back the same file on the same computer so we can take the flash out. You see? The D-ray mode. Okay. So, like I say, uh, if the, the other mechanics that have the right tools to diagnostic, don't just delete the codes because it's hard for us to find out what the problem Right now, I don't know what problem has it. So I have to reflash, post a region, drive around, see if the code come back. If the code doesn't come back, well, we gotta give it to the customer and he can use it until any light come back. And from there, we can see what the problem exactly what the problem is. So we gotta wait. It's gonna take five minutes. Now you can see it. The computer is going blank. Wow got it by a good camera so see so right now the computer is in blank computer in blank computer is in blank okay. I'm using Nexic okay so sometimes I take a risk if I'm doing this on the truck on this truck sometimes fail if it fails I'm fucked so you gotta be, I mean, I, I like to take the risk. 
because this is not original for this type of vehicles it's aftermarket so I have to take a chance yeah. but the mechanic they don't take that chance but I like to take the chance so that happened two times I think two times I have to take the, the take the computer to the dealer pay double and get the file right on the computer so sometimes if you don't take the risk you're never gonna make the money too so I have to take that risk and show them that I'll be able to put this truck on the road so it's taking engine control module time is in progress it was like five minutes so to get in two three minutes downly calibration sending so it's extracting the file see if it works once again this shock is 2014 I'm on the regular shop they call me to find out what exactly the problem on this truck is Ah, okay. I have right there is completing. So we still have the light. See exhaust So I think now we be able to reset. They got everything back. I will have the codes back again so I'll be able to restart and put the system back together now. So I got everything back. Yep, got everything back. You see, restoring blocks. Say turn the initial one, then press it. Slap one minute. See? Hope everything works. Now we do exit. Okay, we got everything back. So let's see. We got any codes? Okay. Here we go. DTC. Let me see. It's reading. It's reading. Ah, there's no codes. No codes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's see. See if the cost goes away. Yep. Very good. The line went away. See. Now it's no cost, no nothing. Okay. So, let me see. Let me start the truck. Okay. Now the truck is back to normal. Okay. Truck is back to normal. And it's ready to go. Like I said, now I have to force a region to verify all the knock sensors. Take me it's gonna take me at least another hour. I gotta do another region. I gotta go right around, make sure the cause any cause are coming. Like I say, I don't have no like you see, you didn't have no cause or nothing, but the truck was on the mode. So that happened when someone deleted the code, you know. And that happened if you got any lights, like check engine ions, things like that. 
It's better to call any mechanic, diagnostic, and see what's the problem. You cannot keep using the truck like that because it's gonna go like that. It's gonna go in derail mode. That happening is because you are using the truck. I'm trying. Somebody came and just reset the course, but the derail mode is gonna go away because they have used the computer. All right. See you next video. Hope this thing help you. Someone trying to do these things help you to diagnostic on these users. All right.